The jibe has a very clear beginning, middle and end. This chapter will improve your skills throughout all these stages. You'll be entering your jibes with more control, smoothing out your footwork and seriously enhancing your exit. Let's get ready to jive! Many of the skills we require in the carb jive can be acquired in lighter wing conditions and these can be called upon when learning and improving the carb jive. We will firstly be looking at the exit which will require you to be a clue first master. Then we will take your clue first skills and use them in the foundation jive. This jive will really assist you in your quest for the carb jive and in the lighter winds it's easier to make steady improvements. The carb jive needs a fast and controlled entrance so we are really going to work hard on improving this. After all this you will be ready to jive. The ability to sail clue first means that we have options at the end of the jive. We can pause to get control or speed or rotate the rig. By coming out of jives clue first, the feet have time to change and then the rig is changed. Only one action is happening at a time. Exit skills can be learned in light winds and can be drawn upon in strong winds. Here are some tips for clue first sailing. As for many moves, look forward. The sail will be unstable, so you need to take a wide grip on the boom with your hands towards the clue. Pull in on your clue hand to gain more control. Take a wide stance and get low so you can steer the board and resist the sail's power. The mast needs to be upright with your body outboard over a bent back leg. The easiest way to learn clue first sailing is to get into it from a beach start. Best conditions for this are light winds and cross the cross on shore in direction with a small sail and a floaty board. Get your kit in position. With a wide grip, hold the kit on a downwind course and position yourself upwind at the back of the board. The back foot goes on and pulls in as the arms extend. The hands can come together here to get the rig more upright. Eat the mast foot as you get up and away. Make sure you resume a wide grip on the boom to get clue first control. The rig will be forward and your body back as you look forwards. Maintain a course off the wind. Slide the front hand to the mast, rotate the rig and keep looking forwards. The next move to practice is the dry jibe. This is the drill to nail your jibes, improve your clue first rig control and enhance rotating the sail. Light winds are best for this. From your beach start position, take a wide grip on the boom and turn the board downwind, looking where you want to go.
start to look out of your turn at the clue and walk around the back of the board. Control the clue first with your body low over a bent back leg and keeping that wide grip on the boom. Slide your front hand to the mast, reach under with the old back hand which will then guide the rig forwards. Look forward throughout. Repeat the drill in the new direction and then carry on. Note that the rig is rotated in a circular motion and sliding that front hand up to the mast greatly assists this. The rig is kept away throughout. As the rig is guided back, the hips move forward and as the rig comes forward, the hips move back. In order to get you ready for the foundation jibe, let's recap on steering. In light winds, aim to turn up and down wind with really smooth and fast changes in direction. The tips of turning downwind are get the rig forwards and across and the body back. Move your back foot back. Place your back hand down the boom and twist the rig, sheeting in with the back arm. Push with the front foot and pull with the back foot. Once downwind, turn upwind by bringing the hands together looking upwind, bringing the rig back and the body and the feet forward. Now that you're in the best shape for jiving, let's get into the foundation jive. From here, you'll be really building towards nailing those carved jives, as the footwork, balance and exit are very similar in both these jives. Move your back hand down the boom. Back foot goes across and back as you drop your body weight. Drop the hips down and to the inside as the mast moves to the outside. Keep the back hand sheeted in as you twist the rig. Look out of the turn and get weight over the back foot. Switch the feet. Step forward and keep low with the weight over the bent back leg. Control the rig clue first. Slide front hand to mast and release back hand. Guide the rig back and keep looking forwards. The old back hand reaches for the boom on the new side. Rig comes forward and body moves back. If you look more closely at the foot change, you can see that it's all about taking the weight onto the back foot first and then you can move or switch the other foot. If you look out the turn and sink the rear hip then the back foot has all the weight on it so the front foot can move. Then, as you step forward, all the weight is on the new back foot. You can use different ways of pivoting just so long as the weight stays on the back foot and the inside rail. Great footwork means sweet jibes. You can practice this anywhere and it will really, really help you. We have been focusing on light wind training so far, so now let's get into what you can practice in windy conditions. One of the key areas in the carved jibe is the entrance, as this is where you can pick up some real speed, which you can take into and through the turn. So this section is going to get you unhooking and sailing fast, ready to jibe. Here are the key tips. 
slide your back hand down the boom so you keep speed unhooked. Are ready to carve hard and in the best position to control the clue first exit. Get down low after unhooking to keep the sail powered and board flat. This drill is just to practice sailing along across the wind or slightly downwind. So here we go. Sailing fast across the wind. Slide your back hand right down the boom. Yes, that far. Sink down into the harness. Pull boom in to unhook and then drop right down. Extend the arms, look forward and bend the back leg to flatten the board. Pull down on the boom. Go downwind for more speed. The people I coach, once they have this skill of keeping speed unhooked, they are so close to the jive they can smell it. Keep practicing all these skills and then you'll be fully prepared and ready to carve jive.